up guys it's your boy so today we're gonna be comparing this thing this thing these things are both trends this thing was like a trend of the past it's like old now this thing is a trend right now <laughs> i can dumb, i love you ah! so if you aren't familiar with these things i'm gonna do a sick montage with both of these things so you can see what they do then i'll do a comparison on which is better so here we go boys fidget spinner transition ready for this yo i feel like spinner crap right now he always does that in all of his video yay if it was up to me, then I guarantee I make you mine. There's nowhere else I'd rather be, rather be than by your side. So I hope he keeps you satisfied. You don't know what you're doing to me, doing to me. Ooh. 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 You don't know what you're doing to me. So, now that you guys have seen what they can do, let's get into this comparison. So, for the Kendama, these things are super duper fun. I don't know why they are, but it's like just addicting to do. Like, sorry these, I don't know why. Why are these things so addicting? So the cool thing about the Kendama is that it doesn't only have one thing like a fidget spinner does. It has this thing, which is one, two, three, four. So you can do, you, it already has four different things, which is a plus. So you can do a lot of different tricks and cool stuff with them which is really cool. Another thing is that you can like, if there's like a bad guy in your house, you can use that as nunchucks like this. Oh crud, that's one of the bad things too. You can like kill people with it. Kandamas are super duper cool. They're also like, you can probably get them for like 20 bucks. I think this was only like 20 bucks. I think they're awesome. Let's get on to the fidget spinners. Woo! So this is the executive fidget spinner from, fidget, from Spinnercraft. I absolutely love it. It's actually silent. Like I'm putting it next to the thing. You, you literally can't hear it. I'm just gonna call it the ninja spinner. If I could walk this quiet, I would literally be part of the CIA. Double dab. The cool thing about the fidget spinners is that just like that, you can do tricks with it, but it's also just satisfying to watch it spin. Like, oh, you can also bounce it on multiple different fingers. You can get them in all different types. The main one is the three-way, which is what most people have, but there's also the two-way, and then there's also things. They they come in all shapes and sizes, which sadly, kendamas don't really. Well, there's the pill kendama, which is different, but for the most part, they're basically the same thing. These things are more customizable, in my opinion, I think, but I don't know. I personally love both, and I don't know, more recently I've been using fidget spinners because I just got them and they're just super fun to mess with. I actually love both though. If you want something that is more portable though, I would definitely go for the fidget spinner. This you can do unlimited with, this you can also do unlimited with, plus more unlimited stuff. So, uh, double down. <laughs> that probably doesn't make any sense. Portable, lightweight, not portable, but crazy cool tricks, it's lit. Let's do some front flips because today's gonna be flipping awesome. Front flip time, front flip. Hey! Time for today's notification squad. Shout out! So today's notification squad shout out goes to my boy Ben Tolman. Boy, you I love you, man. You are lit. Stay awesome, dude. Also, he told me to do this crazy challenge of doing a spoonful of salt. That is terrible for your health, but I'm gonna do it. Gotta do it for the vlog, guys. Ooh, I I yes. Hey, you gotta get that spoon. Guys, I'm actually scared for this. Ugh. Hopefully this isn't bad for the grass. Probably is, I'm sorry. Gotta fill it up. Ah, oh, this is so much salt. My heart is just gonna die. Ah! That is so much. I'm gonna die, guys. Countdown, guys. Three, two, one. It's not. <coughs> oh, chlorine water is so bad. That was such a bad idea. Ben Tolman, I still love you. 
That was deathly. Well, that was eventful, boys. That was eventful. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> My voice is dying now. Is salt bad for your vocal cords? Okay, Google, is salt bad for your vocal cords? Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching that video. That was epic. Also, Ben Tillman, love you. That challenge was deathly. <sighs> Ow. Ben Tillman, I want to give you a challenge. I heard you're doing a smoothie challenge. So, I want you to add some ingredients. Add peanut butter, salsa, and almonds. Those are your three ingredients. If you do that, that would be epic. Send me that video and I can put it in one of my vlogs. If you want to be in the next notification shout out, turn on those post notifications and leave a comment that you did so and I will shout you out, boys. Also, I got fidget spinners in the giveaway coming out soon. So if you want to get a free fidget spinner, make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> and you can win a fidget spinner. Hey. Peace out, homies. Have an amazing day. Peace. Have an amazing day. Peace. What was that? The salt is coming into my vocal cords, you guys. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna die. I'm